Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Behind me, you'll see a 29-foot Monterey. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, bow rider. Uh, I got Tony in the interior taking care of that while I'm out here polishing the uh, hull. Let me show it to you. We are back at it after uh, being in uh, Key West for a week. Uh, we did this boat, I don't know, about a year ago. Same process. They're actually looking to sell it now. Um, it doesn't look bad. It's got a layer of oxidation on it. It needs to be sanded and then polished. But uh, they're looking to sell it. So what we're going to do is shine it up uh, and make sure it's good for the next uh, couple months uh, while they can get this thing listed for sale and, and uh, move on it. But you can see my tape line right here. I'm compounding with uh, Oxidation Assassin, which is my brand new professional marine compounding polish. Uh, it is very much like gel coat, gel coat oxidation eater uh, from the marine series, but it cuts a little bit better, but finishes the same. So you get just a little bit of an edge when it comes to uh, speeding up your situation. This actually cuts faster and finishes the same as uh, oxidation eater. Uh, so that would be the better option. Uh, not that oxidation eater is bad. I've been using that stuff for years and years and years. You can see that I bring it everywhere I go. Um, but uh, for this boat, I'm looking for just a little bit more cut um, in, in the one step. And that's all this boat's getting is the uh, one step polish. Like I said, we're just trying to shine it up to get it to sell. Um, I'm going to probably put some of the uh, Marine Series hybrid spray coating on this thing. It's actually um, brand new for 2022. It's a pretty awesome ceram acrylics blend. It protects very well. So we're just going to wipe it down with this. Nothing super fancy. Like I said, this is just to get them uh, more looks as it will be glossier. So sorry about the uh, pressure washer. Tony's in the interior working on that while I'm outside. So. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what we're working on today. Super happy to be back at work. Uh, some call it work, I do not. This is what I love to do. So um, I don't go to work every day. I've been retired for years. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. I gotta get this yellowing off of the transom area. Uh, we'll be using the professional uh, hull brightener, uh, which will get rid of this whole line. I'm probably going to spray it all up underneath there too. I just wanted to do a test spot, see how well it's going to come back, and it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this yellowing all stripped off, and then uh, I'll proceed to polish, and I'll bring you back when I've got more done. All right, so I have the uh, port side here. Uh, if you don't know, port and starboard, so uh, port has four letters and so does left. So as you're facing the bow, your left side is the port side, the right side is the starboard side. So I got the port side all glossified. Oh no, is this guy trying to put, oh. I was like, I just pressure washed all the mats for this thing and hung them over that rack. I was hoping he wasn't trying to put that boat on this rack because I'd have to go move it and you can see how they're dripping dry. I hit them with tiger's blood. I didn't agitate them at all. I actually used the uh, pressure washer uh, nozzle to agitate the carpet. So I just doused them with some diluted tiger's blood and then went in and pressure washed them real good and now they're drip drying. So anyway, I got the port side all polished with my trusty steed here. Um, as you guys know, I only use the double-sided buff and shine uh, wool pads and I've been exclusively using this DeWalt uh, 848 or I'm sorry, this is the uh, DCM 849 uh, Rotary. It works awesome. I use I prefer the five amp hour batteries um, I am on my second battery And I've got two two lights there, so I got enough to do probably a third of the other side. So the reality is I'll probably go through three to four batteries doing this whole boat. And I am using, like I mentioned, the Oxidation Assassin. 
and I have used almost 16 ounces. So I don't know, maybe six ounces or so. This will be about eight, so maybe seven ounces. So the reality is a 16 ounce bottle can absolutely do a 30 foot, uh, 30 foot boat, but uh, it just depends on what level of correction you're looking to get uh, and what you're doing. Uh, you could use as much as 32 ounces on a boat like this. It just depends on if you're sanding, if you're trying to remove sanding scratches and all of that good stuff. All I'm literally only removing the top layer of oxidation to bring back the shine. That's all that I'm doing on this job uh, so that these people can show it and the, the potential buyers will say, okay, it's not in bad shape. We'd like to purchase it. So that's what we're trying to do here. There's a purpose for every detail. Every situation is different. So uh, I've got all of this done. I have to do a light polish on that top deck. Uh, it actually looks really good uh, from last time. Last time it was pretty bad. I spent a bunch of time up there. I did the same package for them last time, uh, which was a year ago, but we did, uh, I did some extra polishing up top, which was definitely beneficial coming back out here because now I don't have to work as hard to get that top deck straight. So uh, I will be working on the starboard side now. Uh, oh, uh, I got all the yellowing off as you see. I sprayed the professional hull brightener. Uh, I just sprayed it on, then I pressure washed it all off, got it all diluted and looking good. So you can see there's no more water line. And then I also wiped off that nasty black line. So yeah, a little bit of gloss, but it is time now to uh, give this whole thing a good cut and uh, some glossification. We are using the wife's car. I just uh, purchased a 2022 uh, Kia Sorento. This is our 22 Kia Carnival. We love this thing. My Sorento will be the work vehicle. I am gonna build a custom trailer. In fact, I've been really working on designs on the custom trailers and I have a fantastic design that I'm gonna try to market and sell. Uh, I get a lot of requests from uh, years past when I've built detailing trailers and everybody wants one. Um, but this one I think I can build for a decent price and at the same time, it'll be incredibly functional and fully cu uh, custom. So, all right, I'm gonna get to work and I'll bring you back shortly. Okay, um, so this side didn't look as bad as the other side, but it's still oxidized. So I've done a little bit and I just wanted to show you the difference. You can see how di this is oxidized and there's where I stopped the polishing and all that looks awesome. I got a line of polish up there gonna pick up and roll out um but yeah so i'm working on this side i got the uh the bow area is all done looks good so well you can see super shiny in front of my polishing line and then the polishing line back it's all chalky all right time to get more work done all right everybody i'm on the uh interior of the boat tony got everything looking spick and span everything's nice and clean everything's where it's supposed to be and i'm just putting the finishing touches on this thing so with all of that said the floor looks awesome the exterior and the top deck looks great. Polished all of that. Got the gunnels looking good. Um, I'm not gonna open up the berth. Got that all vacuumed out in there and got the covers laying in there. Um, I did use the uh, EMC spray coating on the outside of this thing. So it'll give it about a year of protection. Um, the emphasis was on making it sellable as you probably recall so everything's clean sinks all cleaned out cup holders look good this vinyl is really bad it's super old but I got it pretty clean the cockpits all nice and clean 
It is hot today. Hot, 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 hot. So I'm just going to finish backing out, wiping the floors down, and then I'll be putting the mats back in. But I wanted to show it to you. I still have to wipe the floor down. Uh, I polished all of the exterior gel coat. All this area here. All of the uh, top deck and the hull, as you saw. Cleaned all this vinyl with the uh, Marine Series vinyl mold and mildew cleaner. Um, I did wipe them down with Forever Rinseless. Give them a little bit of protection. But that's it. I got this thing all straight. All right, I'll get down and show you the finished product on the outside after I put these mats back in. All right, so if you remember the transom when I got here was all kinds of yellow looking really bad. Now it looks super nice. Got all the gloss on the back, top of the transom area. Look at all that gloss on that boat, all the gloss. Like I mentioned before, if they were going to keep this, my recommendation would definitely be to sand it, then compound and polish it out and put a ceramic coating on it, or Infinity Marine, which is my permanent clear coat, so it lasts indefinitely. Uh, it's a permanent clear coat that basically makes your old gel coat look brand new again, but also if you've got a painted boat or if it's super chalky and oxidized, spraying on Infinity Marine uh, will basically bring all your color back and make it stupid glossy. Uh, Infinity Marine is a polymeric resin, one part clear coat, but it also has ceramic in it. So it is a clear coat and ceramic coating in one, if you will. All right, so 30 footer, glossification boom um, cleaned up the uh, out drives just a little bit nothing major they look pretty good I got all the funk off of them um, I showed you the walkthrough on the interior and here you go uh, I also did an acid wash on the entire bottom everywhere I could get to I uh, got all the yellowing off of that but look at that gloss Look at that gloss. I see one spot right there I've got to go wipe. I don't know if you see it, but anyway. I wiped that spot, but other than that, man, she looks good. Super happy with this. Like I said, we detailed this boat. We did the, uh, basically the same process. I did a little bit more this time uh, just to, uh, you know, basically address any and everything I would be looking for uh, as the owner, or I'm sorry, if I were looking for, looking to purchase a boat like this. So I got everything nice and straight. So she looks good. I'm very happy. You'll see the spot I got to wipe better from here. It's right there. See it? So I'm gonna get the uh, step ladder back out and wipe that up, but I'm gonna close this video down. Hey, thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me babble and watch these videos that I shoot. I shoot them to show off my products. I shoot them to show off my services. And that's really what I do here is I wanna show you the work that I do. So potentially you would want A, to buy my products and B, to use our services. So if I can help you in your detailing endeavor, uh, or if you'd like to book um, a service, either a correction or a uh, ceramic coating or a general detail, 813-846-4406. I truly appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch these videos. It means a lot to me. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we, we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Again, I appreciate you. Give me a chance to earn your business. Um, that's, that's, I'm in business to stay there and continue moving forward. So I'm always looking for B 
bigger, better, and I want to do more for you guys. So if I can help you with anything, please let me know. Check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. I'll put it right here. And again, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.